Hello, I'm Scruffy, and welcome to episode 6 of playing through Pikmin 4. We had a doozy of a day last episode, uh, which is why I'm hot off recording that one, recording this one, because I just, I need some questions answered here. Um, first of all, I was a bit overzealous in using raw materials to purchase gear, such that I didn't end up having enough to even progress through the first cave that I went in. In the Sunspeckled Terrace, by the way, we're, we're uh, there's still so much to do there. Um, so yeah, I had to come back out, farm some more raw materials, and that just teaches me the importance of saving up all these raw materials. It's very important to, to have a bunch ready. Um, but from that cave, we were able to rescue Kingsley, a florist, who wants me to flower a bunch of Pikmin uh, as a side mission. Then, uh, using our trusty ice Pikmin, we crossed a river and faced off against this person, uh, who, as you can see, has a Pikmin stem and a bunch of, like, a bushy, leafy face, uh, and we don't know where they're from. Uh, the ID was unable to read data, so we just assume they're from PNF 404. I basically had to complete a, a Don Dory challenge, like a mission mode style challenge of just collecting everything in as little time as possible. And I scraped by, um, allowing me to collect them and getting some raw materials from it as a reward. But we still don't quite know the nature of this person until I rescue my doctor from the rescue crew. Um, and if that wasn't enough, uh, I also got a yellow onion, which divided the onion here into two colors and allows me to grow yellow Pikmin as well as red Pikmin, so that'll be useful. Um, and then, at the very end of the day, I discovered Olimar and Moss uh, were at the entrance to another cave Olimar looked like this. He had a bushy face and a Pikmin stem. So that means that this is, like, based on the bad timeline of Pikmin 1, where Olimar didn't get all of the ship parts in time before his life support failed. And I guess he became half Pikmin, but still enough that he could steal a castaway from me and venture into the cave. And because at the time it was almost sunset, I couldn't do anything to follow after him. So that's the first thing that we're going to do today. We have to go back to the Sun Speckled Terrace to see what that's all about. And then there will probably still be plenty more to do after that, because according to Colin, the area is only like just above halfway complete. So, hope you got all that. It's a lot to take in, and today will be as well, I, I can imagine. But I'm ready to do it, so let's head out there. Eddie. Fishy. Whew, sorry, Blossoming Arcadia. I will get to you soon. Alright, I also discovered this new base, uh, which is a bit further along. Let's see, the meandering slope. So, um, yeah, this is where I encountered Olimar after building this bridge here. I just happened to uh, want to get up here and defeat a bullborb up here, and then I saw this. So, and... Uh, this challenge and the other challenge with the other leafy individual do not allow me to bring Pikmin. I'm assigned Pikmin once I get into the cave. So, uh, no Pikmin for now. All I need to do is get up there. It's got a red cover rather than a blue cover. Oh, and there's raw materials over there. I'll get those after I'm done. 
Um, and, okay, as if that weren't enough, uh, there's also a blue onion that I discovered by crossing a lake there, and I just barely don't have enough Pikmin available on the field at once that I can collect it, but I will. I will soon, I know it. Yet another different trial run. Yet another different jingle for entering a cave. Okay. It's... It's Dondori time. What is this place? Ooh, it looks toy-themed? I guess we can figure that out later. For now, let's focus on finding that castaway. Oh, there they are. Olimar's villain arc, I suppose. I see them over there! <gasps> You're converting castaways into Pikmin-like people. What in the world? Those who do not embrace Dondori cannot survive this planet. But if they grow the leaves, they will thrive. You, skin having one. Do you believe you do not need the leaves? I will test your abilities to see if this is true. He's really off his rocker then. I invite you to face me in Dondore battle. I have provided the Pikmin you will need to support you in the challenges ahead. Listen closely. Yeah, he, he's gone completely bonkers. Find objects and transport them back to your base within the time limit. To win, collect the highest total combined weight. Ooh. So I'm facing off against Olimar uh, and Moss. If you wish to retrieve your castaway, prove that your Dandori abilities are superior to mine. Now the Dandori battle begins. Whew. Okay, well, hold on. Let's study the map here. Uh, we've got one fruit there. Olimar's probably going to go for this side. So maybe I'll focus on this side and then try to steal that from him. I'll go with that. I will not be holding back. OG, you carry that. Uh, I need one more here. Grow some more Pikmin. I hope enemies count. Oh, they do count. Okay. Even pellets count. Great. Oh, he's trying to steal. Don't you dare steal the heavy stuff. Hmm. Uh. No, 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 Ochi. Rush. Rush, gosh darn it. This is hopeless. But maybe I can try and steal this from him. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so it they've changed the way that contesting Pikmin will work. The Pikmin don't just attack each other. There we go. I think I have this in the bag. So yeah, the Pikmin don't just... Get out of here. Get out of here, Olimar. <laughs> but yeah, the Pikmin don't openly attack each other. Instead, there's like a weight contest? Yeah, and they kind of have a tug of war about it. And if I can overwhelm them, then I knock them off the item. Interesting. This theme is also pretty catchy, it's like a marching band.
I suppose this is how the two-player mode works. But I imagine it'll get a lot more complex even than this. It is going pretty well, yeah. I'm more than doubling his score. Continue like this, I'll lose. You should pack it in now, Olimar. Uh-uh. I'm not letting you have this. Twelve Pikmin for that. Oh! Uh, hey! Get off, Ochi. That's not nice. Though, I suppose that's the point. <laughs> They just keep handing me strawberries. They're not the heaviest, but they really help uh, increase my uh, my lead on him. And the pellet posies even grow back. This is wild. Whew. He really caught up there at the very end. He had like a... I didn't even see, he had a secret weapon of some sort. But... No match for a Dondori master like me. The strength of your Dondori power is magnificent. I will return this one to you. They're very in sync. They just... left? Who in space and time was that? Well, whoever they are, they weren't lying. Your Dondori talents were on full display. Now let's get this castaway out of here. Whew. How do I tell them? Huh? They really are growing leaves out of their head. They seem to be suffering from the same condition as that leafy individual you just challenged. Transport them back to the SS Beagle right away! Right. Uh, and for that, an even split will do for now. The rest of you... I can't see how many that is. We'll just throw everyone at it. I wonder if I could throw Pikmin on that. No? What about with yellow Pikmin? Another leafy castaway. Hopefully their ID will tell us something. Nope. No luck. Could the leaves be causing this error? That'd be interesting. Hmm. Yeah, could the Pikmin hang off of that? I'm just gonna test it real quick. And if not, then, uh... Then I'll head off elsewhere. I still need to find a Flarlick somewhere to increase the amount of Pikmin that- Ah! There we go. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, and look at the reflection on that. Lovely. Nothing over there. I suppose that's the edge of where we can explore. So, let's collect this. A big old pumpkin. And then we can just jump off of here and back down here. Okay, now, where to next? The rest of this day is going to be devoted probably to uh, figuring out what's up here. And to get there, we'll need to build that bridge, 
and that allows us to collect some raw material. Excellent. Oh, perfect. And I don't have to wait for them. Too much, anyway. Wonder what that could be called. <laughs> That's a lot. Yeah, what could be up there? Ooh, might be going through that big wagon wheel. However, no, I suppose, yeah, that's a good place for my base, as any. No, uh, maybe I want to set it to here? Yeah, you know what? Let me, uh, pull out the root over there, and then set my base to that. Dondori. That's what it's all about. Ooh, and another one of those. Here. Can you help with this, Sochi? Yes, you can. Perfect. Okay, with that, I'll be able to use this as my base. I wonder if I'll discover Blue Pikmin here. Because otherwise... Well, I just need a higher Pikmin cap with enough Ice Pikmin to carry that. Also, where's the rest of my Pikmin? Hold on. All of you, come over here. I need everybody. There we go. Uh, how do I get to that hanging part? Hmm... Is that worth it? Why not? Just to... just to add to the completion amount. I also wonder if there's anything in here. Yellow Pikmin are good at digging, so they can do that quickly. Oh, this one doesn't need... red Pikmin either. Or er, yellow Pikmin either. There we go. Rather see that completed than incomplete. Alright, and now we can devote ourselves to this bridge. Ah, it did have raw material in it. Ooh, ooh. Keep your chompers off my Pikmin. We only need nine. No, that's wrong. We need 39. Okay. Let's put everyone on this. Oh, Ochi can work on this. Great. We need one more Pikmin. Why? Why at... At all times must I be just slightly behind on my Dondori skills? <laughs> Carrying it in his mouth. Good boy, Ochi. <laughs> Alright, but with this complete... We'll be able to cross over there. So close. Uh, they don't let me just jump off there. But let's see what we have here. Hmm. They definitely... It's leading up to something at the top of that hill. Maybe another cave? Maybe something else. We'll find out. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, here we go. That's so neat. Ah, yes, another cave. And more up there? How do we get up there? Another base? How do we get up there? There must be something over here that I can use to get up there. Or something. Anyway, we made it to this cave. So let's visit this cave. Or it, this cave will bring me there. I see. Aquiferous Summit. I found a hole that should lead to the top of the mountain, but the inside was more convoluted than expected. And only now do I see a light at the end of the tunnel. If I ever make it out of this place, I'll deserve a good rest. This was before he was Pikmanized, I guess. Oh boy, sounds like, or looks like we have a, a puzzling uh, cave here. And some two types of wild Pikmin. And I guess I don't need yellow Pikmin, so these two will do. Using a cave as a passageway is a really cool idea. Because normally you just came out the same entrance that you, uh, that you entered. Oh, right. Let's, uh... Let's charge picking at this. Nothing. Ice Pikmin? Hmm, actually, stay there for a second. over here. Ooh, I'll have to ride Ochi for this. There's definitely something in this. Oh, it's a Hanafuda card. Beautiful. wonder if I've seen any of that series already. Nope. That series is new. Okay, um... I guess that's everything. Small sublevel. Sublevel 2. And if progress is 50%, then this is the last one. I really like the terrain design down here. Another castaway, huh? Everyone's come to this planet. Ooh. Okay. We've got some scorching stuff. But red Pikmin should be fine with that. Huh. Sizzling floor. I guess it's just some sort of, like, scorching... Uh, rock? <laughs> not, not sure. But it certainly looks pretty. More ice pikmin. Hmm. There, will ha there has to be a button somewhere that we can use to get rid of that. I think I found it. It's way over there. Oh, wait. I could put on... Uh, the Scorch Guard. Oh, how do I... How would I do that exactly? Um... No, that's not it. Actually, wait, uh, it's gotta be in the tablet menu. Yes, gear and skills. There we go. Oh, it is equipped. Okay, great. 
Why would I want to un unequip any of this then? Am I ever going to run out of equipment space? I wonder. Okay, let's build this. Carry this. And that. Another puzzle piece. Very nice sand texture here. An origami crane hanging from a spider web. Oh, no, you can you can continue carrying that. I didn't realize. I stopped them just short of doing what they want to do. I'm sorry, Pikmin. There we go. Alright, I think we're nearly done with this whole cave. Not leaving any raw material behind. Ah. You guys keep going. I, I just love their chatter while they, uh, while they carry things. Oh. It does not allow me to jump off of this ramp here until it's complete. Interesting. But this should be the end of it. I'm trying to check out the background here. It looks to be like a bamboo garden? Interesting. With some statues? There we go. There's our castaway. Great. Alright, who have we got? Alright, let's check that ID. Hmm. What? Look what we have here! Dingo! From home planet Ori. An officer who excels at solo missions. He's not a joiner by nature, but he'll show up and lend his physical abilities when need be. Dingo. I knew it! I knew he was tough enough to make it! Dingo is a skilled ranger, even though he doesn't use a rescue pup. He specializes in solo missions, you see. One thing's for certain, rescue missions should be a lot easier with his help. Huh. The Ranger. Alright. We tracked down our Ranger Dingo. The only rescue officers still out there now are the Doctor and the Pilot. Excellent. Okay, well, uh... I think that's... everything? Yeah. Yeah, just double checking. Let's go. One rescue, with one more puppy point. Okay, and we got the Talisman of Life, Crane, which means there are... there are going to be more of those. Another memory fragment, Skin of the Phoenix, and Gold Nuggets. Awesome. I don't think there were even any enemies in that cave. Wonderful. Doing well on Sparklium, too. So, now that we exit this cave, it should put us up on that hill.
Um, ooh, this is, this is a tricky question. Wait, no it's not, because there's a base up here, so this should be fine. Yeah, here we go. 75% of the area explored. And here we have the Distant Summit. Indeed. Looks like we have an enemy that we have encountered before up there, but I still don't know its name. Ooh, and the Fire Breathing Feast. Okay, for that we're going to need this lowered. And before I get to that, I want to make the area safe here, so let's use the same strategy that we used before. Oh! And this time I'm taking my time, because I want to hear this music. Now's my chance. Gosh, I've got a I've got a whole marching band percussion section for this. And a kalimba. Here, uh Ice Pikmin, sit this one out. I don't want to freeze this one. I'll give it to Yellow Victor. Wow. <laughs> so I get a full marching band salute. <laughs> Not even any, like... I mean, we had some kalimba for, like, a bit of texture, but not really a, a melody or, or harmony much. It was sort of around E-flat. But, yeah, percussion is really everything you need to make a... Uh, a bombastic boss battle theme. Alright, now let's collect... How much do you need? 20! Okay. Oh, uh... There we go, that's it. Anything else we have here? We've got one more treasure. And some raw material. Where are they going with that dragon fruit? Where did they go? Oh, they had to bring it down there. Okay, and now they come up the hill. Okay. Hmm. So we've got one last treasure over here. Some big bags of, I assume, like mulch. Or maybe lawn clippings. Just look at this amazing view. True. Oh, yeah. This actually is a fantastic view. The whole background is, is modeled. There's a giant garden gate over there. A whole house that way. It really is lovely. Now, let's see, what treasure do we have missing here? Ah, it's buried down there. Oh! Ochi's got some teeth! <laughs> I guess, uh, if I needed some self-defense, Ochi's got my back. Is that a... a peanut? Yeah! Alright. I think there is... Ooh, there's one more thing I could do today, which is that cave, but I'd have to get there before 
the uh, end of the day starts. So let's zoom over there. Not sure if that's actually any faster because OG stops. Uh, let's see. This is not the fastest way there. I'm gonna have to go over this bridge. It We're gonna cut it close. <laughs> Love some Pikmin Sea shanties. Okay, we made it. I was feeling hotter than usual in my spacesuit, and when I looked down, the ground was on fire! I panicked, but a red Pikmin just gave me a sidelong glance, totally unfazed, even as the fire licked at them. They're clearly capable of more than just skillful attacks. Huh. Alright. Um... Let's go for it, because, uh, I don't know how much... We, we really don't have much time left in the day. And likely, once we get back out, that'll be it. Um, but great! We made it here, and let's get some wild Pikmin, and some more treasure. And no ice Pikmin recommended. Uh, makes sense for a, a cave this hot. Great, glad I got to get this r in at the very last part of the day. Okay. We've heard this music before in the industrial maze. I think. No, wait. No, this is just the regular, like, soil cave music. You. I can kind of just leave Red Pikmin to deal with that guy. They are indeed unfazed by fire. Sheer wigs. Those have always been a nuisance in Pikmin games, but I guess now not as much. And more yellow Pikmin. Although now I have an onion, so this is just a bonus for me and not not necessarily vital anymore. I'll take it though, for sure. Ooh, yellow a yellow tube of paint. Even more yellow Pikmin? Sure. Let's carry a sheer wig back. Yeah. Any more? Yep. Okay, they get some defense to them when they uh, when they start flying. Is this a? Uh... Oh, <laughs> it's a blackboard eraser. Okay. Oh, wait. Excellent. In some Pikmin games, I think as far as Pikmin 2 at least, um, sometimes Pikmin wouldn't know to follow the more efficient path uh, if they were already mid-journey. So, it's good to see that they do that now. Speed this up a little.
Last thing I could hope for here would be uh, a Flarlick. A Flarlick and just enough time to collect the blue onion at the end of the day. If not, that's okay. But it, that would be a miracle if... Uh... Wait, let me make sure that's everything besides a couple enemies. That's good. Alright, sub-level 2 of the Crackling Cauldron. Yeah, and here we've actually got some serious fire hazards, not just fiery blowhogs. Another castaway! There's a lot more back and forth between leaves and buds and flowers in this game. Which is awesome, I'm here for it. What's down here? Ooh, the camera pans under that to follow me. Here. Let's have Ochi deal with this, and the red Pikmin come and deal with this. Doing good work, Ochi. Now we'll help you out. There we go. Um, yeah, let's head in here. Perfect. Checking their ID. I hope it's another rescue officer, like a doctor or pilot. Mmm, probably not quite. Animal enthusiast, though. Dalmo. Sozor. He loves animals, and they love him. A researcher at heart, his passion for other creatures is as genuine as his smile. Uh, he appears to be an animal enthusiast. He must have seen the voyage log and came here looking for new species. Luckily, we found him before he got, well, eaten. How many civilians decided it would be a good idea to go traipsing off to this planet? Did they think this was some kind of hot new tourist destination or something? <laughs> right? That's what I'm saying. Like, they should have known how dangerous it would be here. Ooh, we got some kind of enemy there. And it's adding to the music for sure. Something tells me that I'm gonna need red Pikmin specifically for that. Ooh, okay. Ochi, Ochi. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to send you into that, but... That's dangerous. There you go. Heal up. Oh, this is a buried treasure. Is that a yam? Excellent. Does it go with the pumpkin? It does, and the peanut. Awesome. All right, let's see what this is all about. In fact, uh... Oh, hmm. That dismisses everybody, but this 
Oh, never mind. Hang on. I need red Pikmin selected. There we go. And then I can just grab them. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, jeez. Okay. That's scary. <laughs> so it's some kind of lid-like insect, or something that's made a home out of a cylindrical stone. And when Pikmin try to attack it, it tries to flip over and crush them. Luckily, my reflexes were fast enough to uh, prevent any Pikmin from getting crushed. Alright, and that might be everything. In fact, hang on, a new base is right here. So you don't even have that far to go. No Flarlick, unfortunately. So, uh, above ground, we're still going to be capped off at 40. But that's okay. I'm still very excited to get an animal enthusiast explorer, er, a uh, castaway. Because... I think that means we'll get some Piclopedia articles. Thalmo. More pup drive. I'll need to spend that next time. Okay, we've got the Illumination Goo, the Deceptive Snack, the Dusty Bed, the SS Chocolate, the Cookie of Nibbled Circles, the Daughter of the Earth, that's a reference to Pikmin 2 with a potato that was the child of the Earth, and some creatures. Excellent. Before we know it, we're going to have yet another area available to explore. And I, I haven't even started the second one. But I think this one's coming pretty nicely to a close. I can't get the blue onion yet, so I'll have to come back uh, to nab that some other time. But as we've seen with yellow Pikmin, that's not to say that I can't get blue Pikmin somewhere and just have them, even if I can't grow more of them. Uh, yeah. Even split is fine for now. Yeah, we're right at the end of the day. Is there anything else that he, I can even do? Uh, I'm just gonna have to leave you for now, I'm sorry. Blue Onion, my beloved. Can move the base here. I don't have to walk as far. And I suppose uh, I can just end the day here. Good. Look at all the people who are welcoming my return now. We're building up quite a crowd here. And we made three rescues today! Wow! Perfect. One of whom is actually a member of the, uh, the rescue corps, and another is an animal enthusiast, and another is, uh, still Pikmanized. Well, I have five puppy points to spend. Oh boy, and in addition to the treasures that we got underground, and the gold nuggets, and the creatures, we've also got the Snack Bean, the Fire Breathing Feast, the Talisman of Life Moon, and the Mysterious Carriage. Huh. Oh, 
I know, I just know, the last 2% of that area is the blue onion. But, I don't have quite enough Pikmin that with OG I could bring the blue onion back. Like, I could maybe try it if I, uh, took out some of the ice Pikmin and, like, just gunned it across the river before the ice unfroze, but... I think I might leave it there for now. I can always come back and get that and, like, grow some more Pikmin. And next time I'll head to the Blossoming Arcadia. Well, Captain, we did it. We finally found our ranger, Dingo. Can't believe I had to be saved by the newbie. I'm losing my edge. We're just glad to see you made it back safe and sound, Dingo. Are you hurt at all? Oh, uh, not at all, Captain. <laughs> I'm just, uh, touched that you, that you care. Hmm. This table does not seem to be structurally sound. It's missing screws. Get but Science Guy just could stand to worry a little more. Uh, uh, that reminds me, Captain. I have some information regarding our pilot. Mom. Really? Do you know his whereabouts? Great work, Dingo! What? Uh, no, no, that's not exactly... No. You must be exhausted from all that forced sleep you have. We'll go over the deta We'll go over the details tomorrow. You go get some rest. No, Mom. Uh, uh, you got it, Captain. She cares about my physical state. That means she cares. Oh, before you hit the hay, please be sure to review all the details related to our rescue mission so you're fully prepared. So... Is that really necessary? He's not a solo mission expert. He needs the crew just as much as we need him. I say. Alright, I've bloomed 35 Pikmin flowers. I've appraised 34 out of 50 treasures, which will net me some raw material. Okay, these will both net me raw material. Uh, I don't know what'll happen when I learn all of Ochi's skills, but I'll certainly purchase some next time. And, yeah, I, I'm not sure uh, what I'll do. I'll really have to strategize how I uh, expend raw materials if I want to get all of the stuff in the lab. Dingo, is it true that you encountered our pilot while stranded? Well, uh, yeah. I ran into Bernard at some point, but then he, but then he got, like, snatched up by a leaf creature. Leaf? What? We saw the leaf creature pick up someone else and toss them into a big pup. Bernard and I tried to follow, but we were too late. They dragged the castaway into a cave and suddenly they were gro growing leaves too. Then what? Uh, yeah, then what? I'm about to tell you. I don't like to be rushed. So then the leaf creature in charge spotted us. We got out of there fast as we could. Or at least that's what I thought. When I turned around, Bernard was gone. Maybe he didn't make it out. Or maybe he got turned into a leafling too. Leafling. I guess that's the term for it. What's this leafling doing around here anyway? And why are they unconscious? This your work comms guy? Obviously not. And I have no idea why they're currently unconscious. It was Scruffy who recovered them. Uh, don't look at me, I didn't knock him out. But based on what you're saying, this leafling could potentially be Bernard? Potentially. By the way, Bernard and I sort of coined the term leafling. We came up with it because they have these leaves growing out of their heads. Pretty clever, I know. This castaway may be our pilot, but undoing this leafy state is beyond our expertise. We need to rescue these leaflings, but without a doctor, there's not much else we can do. We need to find Yanni, stat. Yanni. Officers to your stations, please. Copy that. Okay, the plot thickens. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to Dalmo real quick. So I got two of these leafling castaways now. I have Dingo the Ranger. You can all relax now, Dingo's back. 
I don't know how the Rescue Corps made it this long without me. Guess I'll find out soon enough, since the captain's making me rest up a bit before I get back into the action. Hmm. But you're in charge of solo missions, so I wonder if that means you can send me on some. Okay, but let's talk to Dalmo. Papa. My name's Dalmo. The moment I heard about the creatures of this planet, I knew I had to come to learn more about them. Top soon. I dream of compiling everything we learn about the ecology of these fierce little darlings here... Of each fierce little darling here into some kind of field guide. All right. Anana. If I hadn't gotten stranded, imagine how many cute little critters I would have encountered by now. It's almost embarrassing that I came here to learn about them and haven't laid eyes on a single one. Hopkins. Wait! You must encounter all kinds of creatures on your explorations. Please tell me everything about them. Naturally, I'll prepare a token of my gratitude. Anything to learn more about these sweet feral muffins. I'm nearly there, too. I've discovered quite a few creatures. Okay, this is what it's all about. We've got notes. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm gonna reserve my anticipation to just read these aloud one after the other right now. And just, uh, view what we've got. We've got a dwarf bulborb, a bulborb, bulborb larva, of course. Fiery blowhog, snowy blowhog, tusked blowhog. Sus magdentum. Huh. Female shear grub, a male shear grub, a shear wig, an iridescent flint beetle, although I haven't actually interacted with it yet. And they're redesigned once again. They're back to having. Let's see. White spectra lids, a scorch cake. Okay, what's its scientific name? Conchcrustus embryo. <laughs> nice. Oh, I, yeah, I'm gonna have to take some time eventually to just read all of these out loud one by one. Por Porquillion. Huh. A honey wisp, of course. A wool pole. And Pikmin! Pikmin are part of this too! As well as uh, the onion, the flarlick. Oh, wait, 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 what are the names of these? Pikminidae rubris, Pikminidae auribus, Pikminidae... Oh, hold on, hold on. Pikminidae habiglacius. Lilium pikminiporta. Bulbous lilium, and they're both part of the candy pop family. And then uh, pellet posy and burgeoning spiderwort. Which is Picflora Bacche or Bache, maybe? Conditus. Excellent. Huh. And they have a sparklium value, a Pikmin yield, how many I've defeated, how many I've lost. Awesome. Just fantastic. Yet another really charming part of the Pikmin series is that all of these are treated like real animals uh, in that they're given scientific names and like very ecologically sound descriptions. Um, so yeah, I'm super glad to get that and I'm excited to fill this out because it's seeming so far like there's, there's gonna be a lot of creatures in this game. Uh, and, oh, yeah, I'm super excited about that. How could you possibly pull yourself away from these charming creatures? Come see me when you're ready for to take another look. Okay, I appreciate that each castaway, even though they're, like, not involved with the rescue core, they still have something to, they, some interaction with me. Uh, and most of them have like some mission to give me as well in exchange for some raw material. So that's really neat. So anyway, I've got plenty of raw material. I've got plenty of uh, puppy points and next time I'll be expending those and heading to the new area, the uh, Blossoming Arcadia. So, pretty full day and I'm ready to draw it to a close. 
thank you all very much for watching. Thank you very much to my patrons who help make all of my work possible and sustainable. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.